What's up, guys? DJ Lunchbox. Here we are back. Oh, my goodness. Welcome back to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. We're at the halfway point, and it's that magical time when we take a little trip down memory lane that we like to call Remember When. <gasps> I never remember when. And I'm gonna remember again. And I'm not gonna remember then. Gonna remember when. <clears throat> so, uh, this week, um, has been a it's been a great week for podcasts. Uh, there's been a lot of great ones, including ours, specifically ours. The best is ours, um, but there's been some other good ones too. Uh, namely, Nerdist, which everybody listens to, and you can listen to over at Nerdist.com, hosted by the one Chris Hardwick, who hosts every single show except for this one. Um, and his get one of his guests this week was the one and only Chris Jericho. Now, I had a hard day at work, okay? It kind of sucked. And when I got home, I did a little rage cleaning. I cleaned my entire house. And what did I do? I listened to that episode of The Nerdist. And it reminded me just how awesome Chris Jericho is. So on this week's Remember When, we are going to talk about the Ayatollah of Rock and Roll. Christopher Jericho. That's right, folks, are the, the very best of Chris Jericho. And I'm going to kick things off by telling you about a time when Chris Jericho reinvented himself. He, uh, he had been around, long hair, top knot sometimes, left for a while, came back, spangly vest, short hair, still in awesome shape, left again, came back. And Chris Jericho at that point was uh, my favorite incarnation of Chris Jericho. He talked softly. He had a hair horn. He was in a suit. And I believe that was the time when he was feuding with uh, Shawn Michaels and mm-hmm. accidentally punched Shawn Michaels' wife right in the mouth. That <laughs> is my personal favorite Chris Jericho era, is uh, suit and tie, uh, aggressive heel Chris Jericho. Uh, Sorgatron, what do you think? Damn it, that was mine too. That was mine too. <laughs> you know, I, 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 but I, I'll I'll add to it though. Um, remember how that started? Where he was? Um, it was one of the Save Us Jericho deals, um, and he was sort of befriending Michaels, and then uh, and then there was an awkward point, and he faded into this. There's actually I listened to uh, most of that podcast today too, and they're talking about reinvention, and they talked about how he apparently had left and taken on some some acting classes. And and was inspired by was it country for old men? Well, uh, no country for old men. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, and and old that men. soft speaking oh, yeah, yeah, right, and saying right. the big words and 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 seeing if like like he didn't know if people would just you know what is he saying you know and, 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 but it really kind of sucked us in. And I know for us we're just like we, we loved it. We ate it up the entire time. Uh, and uh, yeah, that was definitely like, out of all the years. Um, you know, from Lionheart Chris Jericho on, like that's that was great. It was the biggest departure from what he had done. So awesome. And it's better than uh than but I'm Chris Jericho. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Eamon? Eamon. Okay. Uh <laughs> Uh, I got a good one. Uh, one of my, I started watching wrestling around 2002, um, and uh, that means my first wrestle, uh, my first ever WrestleMania was WrestleMania 19, and there was an awesome Chris Jericho match on WrestleMania 19 featuring him against Shawn Michaels. Um, that was a I watch it back sometimes. That's so really it's a really spectacular match, and as much as Jericho, Jericho was actually I mean he was charismatic, and that's one of the things that made him one of the best. But he was also, I mean, he was in that era of one of those first guys that was more, I guess, and for lack of a better term, considered one of the work rate guys um, that could bust out matches like this. Um, and uh, yeah, he was. It was a. It's a really phenomenal match, and it's what one of the things that really got me into Chris Jericho in the beginning, and and showcased like how good he can be, um, because the, he has. I mean, and he's had amazing stuff with Michaels after that too, and like Will and. Not will lunchbox lunchbox and sorg mentioned before um <laughs> but Alias. uh yeah that's my personal favorite mad mike wow i'm shocked that on the eve and a half of possibly getting a new undisputed champion 
none of you mentioned the night that Chris Jericho defeated The Rock and Stone Cold on the same night to become the first undisputed champion. Because that, to me, was amazing. It's, It's a career accolade. That, I mean, if you watch the matches back, they're not good. Like They're full of run-ins. They're full of bullshit that we can play about every week. But the fact that he, like, you had four guys in there. You had Rock, Austin, Angle, and Jericho. And if you put on, like, a betting scale of who was going to end up as the sole champion, Chris Jericho was the long shot. He had to be, like, 100 to 1 odds, easily. And he came out as the winner, and that was amazing. What about you, Bobby? Hi, Bobby. Sorry. <laughs> I was <laughs> muted. I didn't know it was Bobby back. Didn't have an answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, my my favorite all time Jericho moment is when he de- when he de- when he debuted, mm-hmm. came out. With The Rock, went toe-to-toe with The Rock when The Rock was pretty much untouchable as far as, like, mic skills. Yeah. Um, And just – I thought he did a great job, and, and it, it was great to see him in WWE when we've seen him in WCW before. So, And that's why he's my favorite wrestler. So, All right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have we have some good ones from the chat room. Who, who else? Riz. Oh, Riz. 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 Uh, Riz, Riz God here? damn it! Somebody fucking toss it. Riz, <laughs> what, what was your favorite chair? I just saw my face come up. I didn't know what to do. Like, it's my big <laughs> head. Um, but if we're talking about Chris Jericho, two words: sparkly jacket. <laughs> yes. That's it. It keeps him safe when he's jogging at night. It lights up, and it's awesome. Tell me that's not one of the best entrances you see. The lights (laughs) turn down, and all you see are the jacket. Is the jacket. (laughs) Uh, From the chat room, uh, Jessica Legkick TKO says her pick is Ralphus Security Systems International. I forgot. I forgot Ralphus. Everything about Ralphus is gold. Ralphus and the uh, Jerichoholic Ninja. Yes. And uh, Antonio Garza had two. One being Jericho, the team with Chris Jericho and Big Show, which was fantastic. And um, also move number 147. Arm bar. <laughs> and also, Riz, you're wrong. The two words regarding Jericho, ask him. Yeah. Well, uh, hey, I, go, hey I'm back. Uh, that's it for this week. Oh, sorry, so sorry, was gone. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> um, Sorg also was Sorg, Sorg was listening <laughs> off Chris Jericho's 1004 moves. Arm bar. All right. Uh, with that, hey, you know, Mike, you you are partaking currently in our wares uh, uh, with that T-shirt there. Why don't you tell us a little bit about?